Now, let's say if I want to say total equals to 1, what happens? I've already declared a variable called total, so the space remains the same. The only thing I will do is the value will change. Right? So it will go from 0 to 1. So that's the effect of total equals to 1. So the effect of that is total becomes 1. Okay? And now we go total equals to 5. So obviously, what will happen? So the space. The value within it will just change to 5. Okay? So that's how the, the variable is happening. So we're just reusing the same thing over and over by putting different values into it. Now, the final value I'll put is total equal to 100. So then the thing will change to 100. So that's pretty clear. We've been doing that kind of linear progression by using one variable in the last. Now, what if I want to change it back to zero. So I just total equal to zero again. So now I'm back to the starting point of just having zero inside my space. And then I'm going to do total equal to total plus one. Right? So now it's a little bit tricky in terms of how things should happen. Right? Total is still zero. So the my right hand side value for total is zero. So zero plus one is obviously one. And then I'm going to put it back into the same space total. So then it will go from 0 to 1. 1. It should be pretty obvious to you guys, right? It should be 1. Then what's the next statement I want to do? I want to do total plus equals to 5, right? From last, we know that plus equal is just a shorthand for total equals to total plus something, right? So now I'm going to do the same thing. It's total plus equal to 5. So then there's an implicit right-hand side reading of the total value of total, right? What is that? Well, it starts at 1, right? 1 plus 5, so 6. So now we're going to put 6 into total. Now we have total plus plus. So what's the value of total now? 7, right? What about plus plus total?
by itself, it has no noticeable uh, difference in behavior. They just merely add one. So don't be confused about that. Alright, so now let's go to more common errors that we've seen in the last lab. One is that, once again, people are still putting in semicolons and then saying their program doesn't work. So be mindful of not putting the semicolon right after the for loop. Because then that's basically saying do nothing in that for loop and then doing the print after. So even if you're out, your program looks like this, this semicolon will screw you up. Okay. The next one. You say, well, what do I want to do? I want to total, I want to keep a running total in my total. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to say total equal to zero, total plus equal to half, right? That looks like this. Right? And then you're like, but my total is always equal to i for some reason. So what's going on? So we'll go through a similar sequence like before. So we have in total equal to zero, so the value of it is equal to zero. And then total plus equals to one. So then it's going to change from zero plus one to one, right? And then it's going to say n total equal to zero again, right? So what will happen? Total will just go back to zero. Then I'm going to say oh, total plus equals to two. Then it's going to say two. And then it's going to do the same thing for three, four, and five, right? So that's what's happening when you put that n total equal to zero code inside the formula. If you so realize that if way you put the statements matter, right? If you the if you want to do it like this, this is the correct sequence that you really want. You want to declare one time in total equal to zero, and then you're going to have every time you go to the loop, you're going to add whatever i is to it. Right? You're going to say a total plus equal to one, so then it's going to change to one, and then total plus equal to two, so then it remains one. So one plus two, then it's going to be three. Then it's plus 3, so it's going to be 6, plus 4, 10, plus 5, it's going to be 15. So then you get the sum all correct output because you only initialized it once and declared it outside the for loop. And then you only do it totally inside the for loop, right? Each of these, uh, each of these numbers are different.